With the exception of image files, all graphics created or imported into Lightburn are made of open shapes, closed shapes, or a mix of the two. To use any function that requires Lightburn to determine the inside and outside of a vector graphic, the shape must be closed. Some functions that require closed shapes are fill and offset fill, all Boolean operations, the cut shapes tool, kerf offset, the slot and tab resizer, and the cut inner shapes first optimization setting. But what makes a shape closed? Simply put, a shape is closed when its starting and ending points are the same. In some cases, like this first example, it's easy to see that the shape is open by the large gap between the two points. However, in this second example, while both shapes appear to be the same and closed, the one on the right is open. You'd have no way of knowing this just by looking at the shape, but if you use the node editing tool to click and drag the starting node, you'll see that it's not connected to the rest of the shape. Thankfully, you won't have to go checking every shape for disconnected nodes. Lightburn has a few tools to automatically identify open shapes. For starters, anytime you go to preview or run a job with an open shape on a fill or offset fill layer, you'll get a pop-up warning. This window shows you how many open shapes are set to a fill mode, and clicking the Show Me button will help automatically select them. In addition, if you're trying to use one of the Boolean operations and it's grayed out, or another function that requires closed shapes isn't working, there are two options to identify open shapes from the edit menu. The first is select open shapes, which will automatically select all open shapes in your project. The second is select open shapes set to fill. This works the same as the show me button from the pop-up window and will identify any open shape on a fill or offset fill layer. Lastly, the measure tool can give you a readout of a shape's attributes. Select the ruler icon in the left toolbar to enable it, and hover over a segment of any shape. In the bottom left, you'll see the closed open descriptor and a value telling you whether the shape is closed or open. Before we go over the ways Lightburn can help to close open shapes, it's important to make sure this is what you really want. Just because you get a pop-up saying you have open shapes on a fill layer, that doesn't necessarily mean the shapes are the issue. In this example, we see that when I preview the job, I get the open shapes on fill layer error, and when I select show me, it highlights the pattern on the roof. The issue here is not that these shapes are open, but that they are intended to be scored and not filled. Closing shapes like these would require significant editing and would most likely yield an undesired outcome. By putting these shapes on a new layer set to line mode and previewing the job, we get rid of the error and the design is output as intended. Now let's go over how Lightburn can help you close shapes in the cases where it does make sense to do so. Start by making sure any shapes you want closed are actively selected. You can confirm this by the moving selection pattern. The first option, located in the Edit drop-down menu, is Close Path. Close Path requires that the opening in the shapes you're closing be just half a millimeter in distance or less, so it's used for very fine adjustments. Next, we have Close Selected Paths with Tolerance, which works similarly to Close Path, but gives you much more control over which gaps you want to close and how you want to close them. Selecting it from the Edit menu opens a window where you'll get some additional parameters. First is the Distance Threshold Slider, which allows you to specify the maximum gap size you want to close. This is useful in cases where you have shapes whose gaps are greater than the half millimeter required to use Close Path or have selected multiple open shapes and only want to close shapes with gaps beneath a specified size. As you move the slider, you can see the shapes in your workspace live update based on your settings. The other setting allows you to choose whether you want to move the ends of a shape together or join the ends by creating a new line between them. Moving the ends together may make appreciable changes to existing lines, so if the project you are working on requires precision, you'll likely want to select Join with Line. At the very bottom of the window, you'll see a readout of how many open shapes were found, how many shapes have been closed, and how many open shapes in your workspace remain. Click OK to confirm the changes and close the selected shapes, or cancel to discard them. Also available in the Edit drop-down menu is the Auto Join Selected Shapes option. The key difference between this option and the other two is that it connects multiple separate shapes together, while the others close a gap in individual shapes. 
The tolerance for joining shapes together with this tool is very fine at 1 20th of a millimeter. Every once in a while we'll see a vector imported that appears to be a closed shape, but if you click and drag a start node, you'll see that it's made up of multiple disconnected lines. If you see several start and end nodes on a seemingly closed path, that's a sure sign that it isn't closed. In this scenario, select all shapes in your workspace and click auto join selected shapes to connect them. If the first attempt doesn't work, it can sometimes help to select the shapes and go to arrange, break apart, and then attempt again to use auto join. While these three tools will work well for most scenarios, if there's an instance where you require further levels of customization, the edit nodes tool gives you pinpoint control. We covered all the functions of this tool in a recent video that will be linked in the description. Knowing what differentiates open shapes from closed ones, how to identify them, and modify them when needed will ensure your design output matches expectations. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.